Hi and welcome! There are little dwarfs in Wrocław and in this video you will find out all about them. Where are they actually coming from and what is this all about? I will explain everything. We'll also go for a walk and visit 10 dwarfs and places worth seeing in Wrocław. So let's start Wrocław with Monika. If you saw my previous video, 15 interesting facts about Wrocław, you probably remember that Wrocław is known for dwarves and it all started with Orange Alternative, an anti-communist movement in the 1980s. Well, let me remind you that Poland after Second World War wasn't independent. It was under um, Soviet Union influence. Shelves in shops were empty and you couldn't say anything wrong about Soviet Union uh, politics, politicians or uh, police um, or rather militia um, as it was called back then. Gatherings were forbidden, there were no elections or anything democratic at this point. Orange Alternative started at the University of Wrocław where students wanted to protest against communism in a peaceful but sneaky way. Examples? Gathering of people dressed up as Smurfs and Dwarfs on the market square celebrating militia day uh, by giving them flowers. Remember that militia was aggressive and they usually beat people. Handing out uh, women's pets on a street. Writing silly slogans on the walls like we demand anything or help the militia beat up yourself. Painting goofy little dwarfs in orange hats on walls and over government propaganda posters and also advocating for dwarves' rights. International news would publish photos showing the absurd arrest of dwarves. To outsiders, it seemed uh, communism was unraveling and that was the point. So the dwarves are mini memorials of those events and actually one dwarf, the first one, uh, Papa Dwarf uh, is his name and he's located on Świdnicka Street since 2001. And after that, all the other dwarves were created and located in different places in Wrocław and people loved it because the dwarves are adorable. By the way, have you noticed that uh, Papa Dwarf is situated on a fingertip? It's a thumb, actually. And this is from this funny sign when um, kids do this when they mock someone. If you're visiting Wrocław with kids, you can buy um, a location map of dwarves or download um, an app and go on a dwarf hunt. Maps are available in the Tourist Information Center in your old town hall for a few Polish złotych. I know that some of you will buy the map or download the app uh, even if you don't have kids and that's totally fine. Have fun! Now let's go for a walk and see 10 dwarfs and 10 interesting places. Number one, firefighting dwarfs. Just off Market Square near Elizabeth Church from the 13th century, they remind us of the fire that took place in 1975 and then again in 1976 and caused tragic damage of the uh, church. Uh, it seems like the dwarves are running toward the church to save it. You can go to the tower stop and admire Market Square from above. There is a nice view, but there are 300 stairs and no lift. Although it's still worth it. Number two, sleeping dwarf. He is quite close over here. Kids are told that this is entry to the dwarf's land and the sleeping dwarf is supposed to watch it. Well, he should be fired. We are near two skinny buildings at the northwest corner of Market Square. They look like they are holding hands, so they called uh, Jasz and Małgosia or uh, Hansel and Gretel from the German fairy tale collected by the Brothers Grimm. Number three, Dwarf Butcher. Dwarf Butcher, it's located on uh, Jatki Street. Well, this is such a lovely street now, but in the Middle Ages, butchers were selling meat here 
and through this ditch um, the farm animals blood was pouring out. Now the monument of the animals is here and lots of small local artists and gift shops. Number four, prisoner dwarf. He's sitting in the window of a former prison on Vincenna Street. Oh, look at him. He doesn't have a chance to escape. Number five, Italian dwarf. It's also on Vincenna Street with pizza and wine. It's next to Italian restaurants in Italian Passage. In case you would like to try Italian cuisine. Number six, Sezivki. Sezivki on the way to Old Town Hall near the post office. Uh, they are the most popular dwarves in the city. It's pretty funny how they are trying to move the ball. Well, collaboration above all. Number seven, dwarf with a padlock. You can find dwarf with a padlock near Tumski Bridge leading to uh, Cathedral Island when in 1889 steel construction was built in the place where wooden bridges has been built since the 12th century. It's for pedestrians only. For many years the bridge has been a popular spot for couples in love. It was tradition to put padlock on the bridge and throw the key into the other river as a sign of love. But since 2019, after the main renovation of the bridge, the padlocks were taken out and the tradition is forbidden. It was estimated that all of the padlocks were 14 tons heavy and threatened the construction of the bridge. Well, believe me, the bridge looks much better without the padlocks. Um, I won't even mention the metal thrown into the river. Number eight, dwarf on a motorcycle. Dwarf on a motorcycle, sponsored by Motorcyclist Association on Shevska Street, just um, next to Mary Magdalene Church from the 13th century. If you look up, you will see Witch's Bridge. You can actually go up there and the entrance is on the left side of the church. We can buy a ticket for 10 Polish Lotych just over here. Till 2011, it was the highest located bridge in Wrocław. Well, not anymore. Uh, Rendzinski Bridge is now the highest one. It's part of the Wrocław Highway. Well, let's go back to the next dwarf, number nine, Osolinek. Osolinek near Osolineum, its national library with a collection of Polish old prints. It's nice to have a break for a coffee in the beautiful Baroque garden located just nearby. Number 10, Dwarf at the ITM. The Dwarf at the ITM next to Santander Bank. Let's look at the building from the distance. It looks like it doesn't match the colorful old tenement houses on Market Square. And you're right, because in 1929, three old houses were demolished and it was decided to build a modern building. Inside, there's a lift called Paternoster. 20 single person cabins that go up and down without stopping. The lift works still now, but it's available only for the bank's employees. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can check my YouTube shorts in the shorts tab and find out more interesting things about Wrocław. See you next time.